Hello everyone, welcome to your seventh C++ Qt game tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about resource files and how to play sounds using the Q Media Player object. Now the plan is to create a resource file and then put all of our sounds inside that resource file so that our sounds ship with our executable. Um, any files that you put inside of a resource file ship with your executable. So it's a great way to just put everything together in one executable. So to create a resource file, just right click, add new, click QT, and then QT resource file. Um, I'm just going to call my resource file res, doesn't really matter, and just click finish. Don't worry about that. Okay, now inside your resource file, you can have folders. And they call folders prefixes, but they're the same thing. So I want to add a new folder inside my resource file, and I want to call that folder sounds. Okay. Um, and now I want to add some sounds to this resource file. So add files. And then I downloaded a file called bgsound.mp3, and also, I believe, bullet.mp3. This is just some background music that I want to play for our game, and this I want played every time you fire a bullet. Okay, so let's um, see. So now, as you can see, inside our resource file, which is shipped with our executable, we have a sounds folder, and inside that sounds folder, we have two sound files. Okay, now let's go ahead and try to um, play the background music. I will go inside the game constructor, where we do everything else, and after I um, do everything else, I just want to play background music. Okay, so the first thing you need to do if you want to be able to use a Q media player, which is the object you need to use if you want to play sound, is you have to go into your project file up here, and then right here you have to um, basically add another module. Qt is split into modules, so all of its functionality is split into many modules. Um, the core module and the GUI module you will always use, so by default when you create a new project, they are included. But if you want to have the ability to play sounds, then you also need to add another module called multimedia. So to add another module, you simply put a, a slash here, and then on the next line, just basically type in multimedia. Multimedia. Okay. And then um, we go back inside our constructor, and now we can include our Q Media Player. Okay, so now what we want to do is initialize a Q Media Player object. And then we use, um, oh, I forgot to name it. I'm just going to call it player. No, I already have a player called player. Um, that's the actual character. So I want to name it music. OK. And then I want to use, um, so the Q media player object has a method called set um, media. So that sets which sound file you want this media player to play. So we will do music set media. And then we will use um, we will use a class called QURL, which is basically a universal way to access files that can either be stored on your computer or on another person's computer over the internet. So if you want to access normally um, a, like a file that's on your local computer, you would do something like C slash user slash etc. Uh, but the good thing about resource files is that everything is included with your executable, so you can just access your resource file. Um, in order to do that, you have to first type in qrc and then uh, colon and then forward slash. And now we are inside our resource file. But we want to go inside the sounds folder of our resource file, and then we want the uh, bgsound.mp3. Okay. And then we just call the play method. And this will actually start playing the sound. Um, so now let's do build clean all because we added new files, run QMake, and then let's run this and see if our sound plays. It just takes a little time. 
there we go. Okay, so the sound works. Um, we did that. Now the next thing that I wanted to do was um, play a bullet sound every time you fire a bullet. So let's go ahead and go into the player's header file and I want to keep another media player as a private member for the player. So we're going to give him a Q media player object. Let's include it. Okay. And we will call this um, bullet sound. And then inside the constructor, we're actually going to initialize it. So um, bullet sound is equal to a new Q media player object. And again, we're going to use its set media method to actually set which sound file this will play. So we want to set it to um, set media to QURL. And since we're accessing, accessing a resource file, we're going to do QRC um, colon slash. And then we want to go inside the sounds folder of our resource file. And we want to access the bullet.wave. OK. So now the player has a Q media player object that plays this bullet that has the potential to play this bullet sound but we have not told it when to play the bullet sound i want the bullet sound to be played um, whenever you fire a bullet so this is the code um, for firing a bullet it's inside the key press event of the player so if the player presses space we create a bullet um, and then we also want to play bullet sound um, but if i do this uh, it's there's a little bug and i'll quickly show you what what's causing it. So if I just do bullet sound play, um, let's run it. See, it only plays the first one. And then if I fire continuous bullets, it won't play it. That's because it's already playing. Okay, so the way to fix that is we just check the state of this sound object. We're going to check if it's already playing, um, then we just want to set the position to the beginning again so it replays. Um, and if it's not already playing, then we want to play it again. So we can just do that if um, bullet sound state, this method will retrieve the state, is equal to Q media player um, play playing state. So this line basically says if this um, Q media player object is already playing, then what we want to do is we want to rewind it, basically. So bullet sound um, set position, and we want to set it to the beginning, which is zero. Okay, but otherwise, we're going to assume, um, or actually I'll just check for it. So if the bullet sound state is equal to Q media player. Um, there's a stop state, so if it's not playing right now, then we just want to play it again. So we can just copy and paste this code. Okay, and this should fix it. Um, let me just clean this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so just to quickly summarize what we did here was we created a resource file. Now, a resource file is just a way to basically put all of your resource files, such as sounds and images, um, inside your executable. And this way, you won't have to worry about where they may be located on the user's computer. So inside our resource file, we made a sounds folder and we added two sound files. And then we used a Q media player object that we included. Um, and we use the Q media player object to play the sounds. Now, in order to use the Q media player object inside your project file, you have to include the multimedia library, 
or the multimedia module. Um, Okay, so this was a much shorter tutorial. I purposely tried to make my tutorials a little shorter because I know they've been getting um, way too long. So I'm going to leave the graphics for the next tutorial. Thank you for joining me. And um, oh, before I go, I just wanted to restate that all of the code for every single tutorial is in the description of the video. So if you guys want to check it out, um, click that link, mess, uh, mess, around, mess around with it, and basically see uh, any modifications that you can make. So thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in the next tutorial where we'll add graphics.